Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them, and we won't all be coming back. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. Who oh. took his vows in the set? He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. You don't want a man like Brit helping you. He's a murderer. Wouldn't be the first at Castle Black. Where I'm going, I need a man who knows how to kill. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. And no more talk of the North Grove, either. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. The mission can't fail. I'm sorry. I can't promise you that. I understand. I'd say the same if you asked me to swear allegiance to a bloody fray. If you're willing to come, just stay out of each other's way. Aye. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Doff! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises any. Oh. He was just wondering how you two snot-nosed idiots have survived this long in the Night's Watch. Ah. Cotter's the one causing all the trouble. <laughs> You're the one giving me reasons to cause trouble. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Yeah. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. Thief. Cotter, you're a bloody thief. You had no right. I know, I know. Bad Abby. I'm sorry, Gary. I'm just... I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. I didn't um, think you were that gullible. Oh, it's real, Finn. Aye. Says it's somewhere on the other side of the wall. Oh, so you're both assholes and idiots, huh? Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? Finn doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumours is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> what do you know? How could I? Well, you're hiding something. Rumours my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Black's all. People talk, you know. Lying. Not about the North Grove they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there. In the north. I'm part of the free folk. 
people round here call wildlings. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for steel. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... Are we still friends? I mean... I'm confused. I know, it's a lot to take in. And I'd understand if you were angry. If you're a wildling, it means you know your way around north of the wall. Aye, more than anyone round here. Could come in handy then. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there! I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Let's Plenty do it. of things out there when I kill you. All right. Oh, glad I could be useful then. I won't let you down. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. Yeah. You alright? Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss. But fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher, I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. No. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. You don't even know, do you? Just Look, fighting a fucking dragon, dude. I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. Shut the fuck well, up. Come on, Malcolm. Why are you making this such a big thing? We're defined by the choices we make, Asher. One day... I'll understand that. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. <laughs> Asher fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. Is that all you got? Oh. Oh. That's it. You're losing your edge, Croft. You know you're right. I should kill you. Good fucking advice. Whoa, no, no. I wasn't actually suggesting. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you? <laughs> Not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no! Be reasonable. 
I am reasonable. Well, I'm letting you fucking choose. My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me. Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose. Or I slice off your balls, Asha. <laughs> hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. Then fuck you, Croft! Have it your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. <laughs> so what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a we proposition army. for you. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. I'm buying a hobby's tip. Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. A grace pays good coin. Um. I've got wine. Women. We can pay. No. I always knew your pockets were lines of gold. And I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The second oh, sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Impossible. The beast is huge. Size of three war horses. Scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. <laughs> I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. You must be pissing yourself thinking about what we'll find out there tomorrow. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Not like he's holding something back. Can't put my finger on him. Ah, oh, no nothing. I get it. You two are probably buggering each other every night. <laughs> Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. This one's still good. Really?
use it. That's iron wood for sure. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. Okay. I think that's all of it. It's already lit. The fuck? Did I miss one? Oh, I see it. Oh, man could freeze to death up here. Right over No, that's not it. The fuck? Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. Now where to go? What in the fuck? We're all fucking lit. I can't even click on anything. Here. Oh. What was that? Oh, this one. It'll be here so. I wonder who's riding it. Can go this way. Anything this way? No. Oh, there they are. Who is it? Armor. Oh. A 300 mile wall. You're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crasters. But this is even better. Oh, fuck you, Brit. Still have some fighting spirit left in you, huh? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! Motherfucker. Never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. You fucking shit! Temper, temper. <laughs> Too bad Gonda. your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Come get it. You want my blood? Well, come and get it! That was pathetic. <laughs> Let's see if you scream. <laughs> You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. 
At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? Fuck you. You never gave my father any mercy. Damn time. Fuck you, Vickies. At the hands of a fucking forest. Knock him off the wall. Just fucking finish it. Kick him off the wall. Don't piss yourself on the way down. <laughs> oh, hey, boss. Oh, that's not boss. Finn! Hey, he attacked me. That's my story. These people are all scared, my lord. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood Forests. Out of the way! And now they come here, starving, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and reclaim our place in the North if we can't even feed a handful of peasants? Our backs are at the wall again, and this won't get better on its own. No one has more fight in them than Asher. I'm sure he and Malcolm will find us the army we need. We'd better hope we figure something out. With those white hill bastards in our house, we must be wary. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! Good. Uh, You're here. Uh, Look. Look at this! Uh, did you see what this girl did? She Bit attacked him. my man like an animal bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's gonna get what she has coming to her. Touch her this and you die. Won't go unpunished. Let go of me. I don't care if she's your sister. You'll do no such thing. I won't allow it. That's not for you to decide. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. Yeah, we deserve have to be punished. So your man got what he deserved. He's lucky he didn't get any worse than that. So you've given over your duties to this girl, then? Or can you not control your sister? Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in, yeah, what, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again. And You're afraid of a child? Proper discipline. Are you afraid of a young girl with all the armed soldiers you are? What? Have? I'm not afraid. I, I want order. But this house is in a shambles. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Watch your tongue, boy. You yourself had the gall to strike one of my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. Now here's a brave and wise girl. A girl who knows how to speak the truth of things. No. 
A girl who should know her station. Oh, you're dead. That's how I like to see you, foresters. Oh, foolish Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. You will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters. Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you Take down him. like straw men. Take him, Royland. My bloody pleasure. I'll fucking kill you myself. No. Make him watch this. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! Get up! I will not yield. You bloody snot! Why don't you fucking get it? Get up, Roderick! Stay down, my lord. Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. Get up! Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester. You learn your place and stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. Don't you dare! You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! <laughs> What? Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Hold there, or you're next! <coughs> Please, Lord Griff, not the arm! If you persist, Lord Roderick may lose it! Now, stay down! Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? Oh, oh you, you can't. I command you! Let him alone! I'll do as I like! Get out! You! You should fear me! I'm in charge here! I don't you know fear what you. they did to me at the twins? Shred my face, put their swords through me, tried to smash my skull open, but they couldn't kill me. And you're not the man to finish the job. Don't think this is over, Roderick. You'll see. I will make you suffer for this. Trust in that. My boy. Careful, he's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He couldn't keep you down. You were brave, but there will I be consequences, knocked down. my son. I get back up again. We both know that. They'll never keep me down. You see that? Standing up to Griff has made him harsh. Bloody More force. severe. Form up. He could have killed you. But what you did, 
the strength you showed us. You looked like yourself again. It was good to see. Well, we'll always fight back in time. We'll take back our house. I know we will. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. I tried to make him promise me. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. I'll do it. I don't have to do that. It's up to me to protect the house. This is my house too. I have to do something. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did, provoking Griff, it hasn't taken our house to war just yet. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. We did it. I can't believe it. What are you waiting for? Keep it. I can't. What? After everything, we just... I can't burn it. The Khaleesi will see you now. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully. What? I don't understand. That's the Next end. time on nope. Game of Thrones. What have you done, Garrett? Crossfinger is calling for your head. Tell me Brit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? I can't pretend I haven't seen this. Mira, just tell me what's going on. We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff will make us pay for your defiance. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen! I fuck you and your Queen. Deal with your friend. Nothing ever stays in the past, Asha. Carried. It's time to go. You and 51% saved Beshka. You and 48.9% defied Marjorie and spoke to Tyrion. You and 17% gave Prit a quick death. You and 32% stood up to Griff. You and 70% kept the Ironwood Decree. Is falling really a quick death? I don't know, it's got a long way down. Thanks for watching.